The skill of drawing. How much of it is natural talent versus how much of it can be actually learned. On this channel, I try to learn a new skill as quickly as possible. And on this month, for 30 days, I'm gonna try to get better at drawing. As for drawing experience, this sketchbook, I had to go dig around for this to find it. There was one summer in middle school, so that was like, what, like 10 years ago? 10 years ago? Wow. I went on a vacation to Korea or something, and I took this sketchbook around, and I just started drawing in it. I'll just show you a few from here. First one. That's not bad. It's a rose. It's pretty rudimentary. This is kind of fun to go through. I try to draw a scene from The Lion King. There's Mufasa. R.I.P. Oh, there's baby Simba who looks like an orange blob in this drawing. <laughs> I'm starting off with like at least a little bit of intuitive skill, but all these drawings were just me copying off of reference images or photos. I don't have an understanding of like how drawing actually works and the rules that go behind drawing. I'm just gonna see how much I can improve within 30 days. All right, let go. Let's get started, shall we? Sketchbook, this 8B pen. You can learn to draw in 30 days pulled up. Changing to an ASMR channel. So usually when I'm learning a new skill, I'll do a ton of research before I even start filming the video on how to go about learning that skill. But this time around, since I had this super convenient book anyways, I'm just gonna follow this. Nine fundamental laws of drawing create the illusion of death. Death, death. Such a hard word to say. For shortening, placement, size, overlapping, shading, shadow, contour line, horizontal line, density. That's quite a lot. It's impossible to draw a three-dimensional image without applying one or more of these fundamental laws. Noted. Pretest. That's my pretest. Day one, finally. Draw a circle. It was actually not a bad circle. Put a light source. And cast a shadow. Probably be better at shading, but that's it. That's day one. Drew a circle, identified the light source, threw in some shading. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Day two. Out of all of this, the thing that I like the most is my sun. <laughs> because I made this smaller, this circle lower, and also to have them overlap. This gives off the illusion that the sphere in the background is farther away than the sphere in the foreground. I'm learning. It seems like pretty obvious stuff, but it's good to know these basic concepts. Once you get into very advanced drawings, it becomes much more important to remember these things. I might take a picture every single day, put it on my story or something. I finally found the drawing kit. Ooh, <laughs> this looks so fancy. Look at all this stuff. You have some pencils, some more pencils. Ooh, an eraser. I needed one of these. Not gonna lie, this is kind of overwhelming. This is supposed to be used for shading, so I'll take that. So we have the pencil, we have the stencil type thing. And then take the eraser. Maybe these tools will help out. Pretty simple, day four. This reminds me of eighth grade geometry. For day eight, maybe I'll switch out and try to use this pencil. Ooh, it's smooth. Today, I am drawing a koala. <laughs> that looks kind of creepy. <laughs> Dad, what do you koala? What do you call a koala? Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola? No. Wow, that was the most I've ever concentrated on anything. This might be my favorite drawing so far.
Here, I can explain a little bit more about the book. As you can see, every day had a specific exercise for me to follow, and each exercise focused in on one or a few of the drawing techniques. Every day, the exercises would get marginally harder, for instance, starting with a basic house drawing to a two-set drawing house. New concepts would be introduced while older ones were reiterated. I noticed that I was having a harder time with the drawings with curved line shapes, like the sphere, and with shading in general. So while I was drawing, I tried working on these weaknesses and paid special attention whenever they came up during the exercises. It's the little pleasures. Fun fact about me, I don't drink coffee though. I'm probably the only person my age that doesn't. More of a tea person. So I wanted to bring up a point here. Is it really you're learning how to draw when you're just copying off what the book tells you to do? And that's a very valid point. For me, I see it more as, yes, the book is teaching me how to draw all these different items and shapes. But more so than that, I'm learning the techniques behind drawing. So for instance, right now I am drawing a cup, but rather than per se me learning how to draw the most perfect cup. It's more so that I'm learning how to utilize size placement, the best ways to go about shading, or reference lines. I'm practicing all these different techniques within these set examples. I view these as more of like guidelines and practice examples to utilize these techniques. So that even if I wanted to draw a mug next, mugs too similar. What's something kind of different? Like a water bottle or um, what else holds beverage? A wine glass or, or like something similar but different. I can still draw those things because I I have all these techniques in mind. Tidbit of day 20. Let me finish this cup now. Cup. <laughs> Ooh, one point perspective. I got a ruler for this one. Dancing with the lingering stars. Baby, don't blink. Baby, don't. Baby, come back. We can leave it in all in all, I believe this is a good introductory course to sketching and drawing. During this video, I resisted the urge to explain every single technique, like you don't want to gradient your shading when it's a flat surface or shading in between creases. I'm kind of afraid of copyright issues with the book, so I'm not going to detail every single technique that I learned, but I'll put a link in the description if anyone wants to try out this challenge for themselves. Throughout 30 days, I felt my confidence growing and an improvement in my drawing and shading abilities. But not only that, I really looked forward to every daily drawing session. It brought me back to a time when I was a creative youngster. My job for the next half hour would be to do nothing but just doodle. Oh crap. Oh, the human face. I'm not confident about this one. Is that too overly? I don't even know. I feel like with the human face, it's so hard to draw because even like a millimeter of difference in symmetry or blind placement can make the entire thing seem off. This day was definitely the hardest day out of all the days. It's still a little bit off in terms of realism and proportions, like her lips could probably be higher, eyes could be drawn better. This might be a fun challenge to do just on its own. Day 30. I'm always surprised every time this day comes. For the last day, we're drawing a hand. For this time, I'm gonna try to do it with no guidelines. Begin. <sighs> Kinda similar, no? I think I'm done, ladies and gentlemen. Nice! That concludes the 30 day challenge. So many freaking days. Each drawing took like 20 minutes and it's 30 days and that's about somewhere around like 12 to 15 hours of total drawing work this month. Ready? Catch. 
All right, here is pretest. Here is day 30. It's a lot better on day 30. For the things that I was already doing intuitively in the past, I can actually describe now how I'm doing those things and the techniques that go behind it. Additionally, I learned a lot of new tricks on how to draw better. I feel a lot more confident in my sketching abilities moving forward, especially when it comes to shading. This was an introductory general drawing challenge, but I would still say that my weakness is portraits. I want to in the future to focus in on maybe just face portraits. Ugh. So if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe. All right, let's go ahead and bring Mr. Clipboard out. If you want to see one of these past learning challenges, go check out this video over here. If you want to see all of them, then check out the playlist. If you want to stay up to date to whatever I'm learning next, subscribe and hit that notification button below. Awesome. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.